what up? We got a new update in the core data, which isn't much, but a new auxiliary has appeared. A new challenger it awaits, and that is the the Fumo uh, 25. I already bought it though, but the Fumo 25. Now I know. Well, someone appeared to my in my stream today and asked, "Is this auxiliary good, Chemo? Is it good?" Well, let's talk about it. <laughs> I already bought it. I already made it plus ten. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. All right. So, is this auxiliary uh, good? Well, this auxiliary is very, very unique. Not very unique, but like <laughs> kind of unique. Kind of unique. And the reason why is because it's basically a control radar, but it can be used. You can use it on light cruisers. So you can use this new auxiliary on light cruisers. But I'm going to talk about this uh, auxiliary in particular going top to bottom. So let's start with the basic stuff. Let's talk about having this on uh, BBs. So is this auxiliary actually good on BBs? I mean, it's all right. Compared to the gold fire control radar, radar, this is absolutely horrendous. It is not that great at all. Compared to the gold fire control radar, worse in hit, worse in firepower, doesn't have the 15% decreased reload time on the first volley on the main gun. Compared to that, it is absolutely horrendous. <clears throat> it is absolutely awful, awful, awful. Now, uh, compared to a purple uh, fire control radar, though, I don't have one at plus 10, but I'll show you guys the stat as of right now, what a purple uh, plus 10 uh, fire control radar can do. It is pretty good. It is better than a purple fire control radar. So, if you're using a purple one and you want a gold one, that's a straight upgrade for you. Very, very good. So, not bad. But, like I said before, because battleships have a wide selection of choices, such as gold fire control radars, white pencils, black pencils, it's not that great. It's not that great. I would rather use uh, double pencils or white pencil plus fire control radar than use the Fumo 20 with something else. Yes, it has hit or whatever, but co compared to a gold fire control radar, it is nothing. It is not that great on them at all. Not a big fan. But that's not the big takeaway as to why you would want to use a Fumo 20. So Fumo 20, or 25, my bad, you can use these on pretty much other ships as well. Like, they work on heavy cruisers, same as purple, um, <clears throat> excuse me, same as purple uh, fire control radars. So, let's go over to Drake. I can slot this in for if I want to. Now, do I want damage? If you want damage, go for it. Um, definitely, as of right now, probably the best firepower auxiliary we can have for vanguards. Purple being not that great or whatever. So if you do want the damage, it is pretty, pretty solid. Pretty, pretty solid upgrade. We have 25 power on the uh, Intel or Port or whatever. So higher there. It is not bad if you want just straight damage, raw damage. Assuming your survivability is not an issue at all and you want just raw damage, it is good to have on heavy cruisers. Now, the big takeaway here. The difference and why this auxiliary is pretty, pretty unique is that you can slot this on light cruisers. Yeah, I know. Kind of weird. But you can slot these on light cruisers. So, as bef aside from the Intel report, because it's a limited thing right here, and probably uh, auto reloaders, there's not much gear that can give firepower to light cruisers for more damage output. So now we have this right here. The Fumo 25 can be slotted exclusively to uh, light cruisers. So if you're looking for some damage, it is not bad to have. It is pretty, pretty solid. So long story short, is this gear worth getting? I would say get one, one or two maybe. Again, survivability is the biggest thing when it comes to vanguards because your vanguards aren't going to do as much damage as your backline outside of torpedo memes. But for the most part, though, when it comes to like gun damage and whatnot, which is why you want to slot that in because there's firepower and hit in it, it's not that great. Um, and it's not that great. But I would personally, if you have no problem surviving with Azuma, it is a pretty good slot on her because this gives her basically everything she wants. 
She has firepower. She wants to hit. It is a solid fit right here. So, if you want to do, like, more damage for Azuma, you can do something like this. Obviously, though, she's going to be very, very slow. I advise having some kind of movement speed, like a beaver badger or whatever. But it's very, very solid. If you want just raw damage and you're not having trouble surviving whatever you're fighting on Azuma, it is a good slot on her. I would say get one strictly for her. As for everyone else, though, not that big of a fan on having... Uh, the Fuma 25 on any other ships like heavy cruisers or uh, light cruisers because we're vanguards. I said it before, their biggest objective, especially in higher end content, you want to survive. You don't want to do that much damage. You want to survive. Now, I did say damage or DP, uh, tanky DPS is very, very good end game, but most of the damage on your vanguards should be your built in kit, like raw damage, like Chappie, Drake, St. Louis, and stuff like that should be built in straight in the kit that is where the damage is going to come from so you'll want to slot like a repair tool kit um boilers if you want to play manual um washing machines if you want to play on auto for a bit you want to have survivability the 29 fi uh, accuracy in the the what you might call it uh firepower it's it's a slight improvement, but it's not that great because vanguards don't do that that much damage. So you're not getting that much benefit out of having this here. That's why. So, I'm not a fan of having these on vanguards, except Azuma, unless you have no troubles at all surviving. If you have no troubles at all surviving, go ahead and use this if you want to. I still wouldn't use it, but if you want to, go ahead. But, if you want to run, say, a more damage-oriented Azuma... Such as, let's say you want to take her to like an OS run or something. Uh, not Helena Meta because she's probably going to melt there. But let's say you want to do like a Corrosion 6, Stronghold or something like that. And you want more damage, perfect slot for Azuma. Just go right in. Grab the Fuma 25. And you're good to go. Again, watch the speed. She's going to be very, very slow. But once that slows out of the way though, you should be okay. So, I say get one, maybe two if you want. Uh, I bought one, tested it out. It's okay on Azuma. If I'm using it for like regular or casual content, it's not too terrible. But for the most part though, if I, uh, this right here is my setup for uh, Helena Meta. So, I use this. Otherwise, I'm using double uh, double gyroscopes, which most people I, I don't recommend using. But if you want to go for it, uh, I, that's my thing. And that's what I do. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, I would stick to just more... Utility, more defense, evasion, speed, health on your vanguards, and less damage. But since Ozma has a health pool of like almost 8,000 when ringed, if you really want to spare a little bit more damage output, having a Fumo 25 is not a bad choice at all. So, hopefully that cleared things up for you guys. Again, it is a better purple fire, fire control radar. It is terrible on battleships. I would say there's better choices out there and it's not terrible on vanguards but again you're taking out a survivability slot but it's pretty good on Azuma anyways enjoy the video guys